How and why are two very different questions. How gives you instructions. Why gives you answers. The world runs on why questions. It gives us the reason behind whatever it is that we're doing. But there's one place where why questions don't get answered. Where how questions are the only questions that matter. And that place is a math class. Because the way in which math is taught through hows instead of whys led me to believe that I was bad at math. And I'm not the only one. I can't tell you how many times I've been leaving a math class and have heard someone say, wow, this makes no sense. I am so bad at math. The problem with this statement is that it's just wrong. My name is Austin Stein, and I believe that no one is bad at math. Math is taught badly. I was in fifth grade when I was first introduced to the Minute Math worksheets. I was excited at first because it had some pretty cool alliteration, but these Minute Maths would turn into my never-ending nightmare. <laughs> at the beginning of each class, my teacher would hand out the sheets and state timer for one minute. When the timer started, I flipped over the sheet to see 50 multiplication problems staring back at me. Yeah, let's just say that Minute Math was not my strong suit. I came home every night in fifth grade and cried. For whatever reason, I just couldn't seem to memorize my multiplication tables. Mental math just didn't work in my head. I tried everything to master Minute Math, and I mean everything. My mom even bought me the Rock and Learn Multiplication Rap DVD. <laughs> Let me tell you, there is nothing more degrading than watching a man in his 40s rap about math every single night. <laughs> Especially since all of my other friends were doing just fine on their Minute Math. My mom and I talked a lot about holding me back in math because I was so behind. And throughout that whole year, the only thing I could think was, wow, I am bad at math. What I didn't realize at the time is that there's something so inherently wrong with minute math and the way that math is taught in general. I like to call math education factory math because I think it perfectly describes the way someone feels when learning it. We learn a method for solving a problem or a formula, and then we practice it over and over again. We learn how to solve the problem, but we never learn why we're solving it. It's like we're standing next to a conveyor belt, adding one piece to a machine over and over again, but we never get to see the finished product at the end of the line. And I know that students really are interested in the why. I've heard a but why question get shrugged off by a math teacher too many times in my life. So in the summer after fifth grade, I changed my mindset. I told myself there has to be more to math than just spitting out numbers. So I went online and found a world of math I never knew existed. I saw simple formulas and concepts expanded into an entire landscape of new ideas. YouTube channels like 3 Blue, one brown and Number File changed my view on math forever. They never had a video that just explained how to solve a problem. They gave the full why, and I finally saw math for what it truly is. Math is a language. It's beautiful and complex, but at its core, it's just a way to convey information. And if math is a language, then you can't be bad at math. You just don't know what all of the words mean yet. When I realized this, I started to love math. I thought of problems in the conceptual space instead of the literal counting interpretation, and I excelled. In middle school, I got a perfect score on my Algebra 1 and Geometry end of course exams. And as a freshman taking Algebra 2 honors, I got 100 on every single test that I took. Yes, the same kid who cried over math every night in fifth grade. And this year, as a sophomore, I'm taking AP Calculus. But here's the thing, I'm still not that great at mental math. But it doesn't matter anymore, because the higher maths care more about abstract ideas than concrete formulas. The higher maths encourage the why questions. I believe that math should be taught first as a language and then as a way to solve problems. Because there are so many kids my age who are still thinking the way I did back in fifth grade. They still look at math as something that they'll never understand, when in reality, math was created to be understood. But here's the good news. There's no age limit on learning math the abstract way. So if you're interested in learning, you have the tools to do so. Take the path of understanding that will teach you more about the world than you could ever possibly imagine. Just remember, when you're typing a question into the search bar, make sure it starts with why and not how. Thank you.